On this morning's Health Watch, we're going to talk about throat cancer. Academy Award winner Michael Douglas is facing some very tough weeks and months ahead now that doctors discovered a tumor in his throat. Today's stunning announcement that 65-year-old Michael Douglas has a throat tumor comes just weeks before the premiere of his highly anticipated film, Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps. Why don't you start calling me Gordon? That diagnosis, often associated with heavy drinking and smoking, has Douglas facing a difficult treatment regimen. Eight weeks of radiation, given five days a week, and chemotherapy, usually given every one to three weeks. In a brief statement, Douglas said only, I am very optimistic. It's another personal setback for the highly successful actor. Just this past April, Douglas's son Cameron was sentenced to five years in prison for possessing and distributing heroin, methamphetamine, and cocaine. It was his third arrest on drug charges. Douglas blamed himself for, quote, being a bad father and said he was thrilled his son was going to prison because without it, he was going to be dead or somebody was going to kill him. Father Kirk Douglas has had his own health struggles in recent years. He survived a helicopter crash in 1991 that killed two others and a stroke in 1996. But the 93-year-old is still going strong, blogging regularly on MySpace. Those good genes should be a comfort to his son, who is expected to make a full recovery. Joining us now is Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Doc, good to see you this good morning. morning Chris. All right, let's talk about throat cancer. How common a form of cancer is it? It's not common number-wise, but it tends to affect men about five times as often as it affects women, Chris. And we're talking here about cancer that's located in the larynx or voice box or upper palate or the upper esophagus. And again, you know, no one likes to hear a diagnosis of cancer. This isn't one of the top cancers, but it's definitely seen. So you're saying men mostly at risk Absolutely for this? Absolutely five times more affected than women. Okay, let's talk about uh, the risk factors of having a cancerous tumor like that found in the mouth or throat. Well, this is actually one that we tend to, to think of of environmental risk factors as really up there in terms of what can what can affect you and Specifically, we're talking here about smoking, heavy alcohol use, exposure to certain environmental chemicals. Even the human papillomavirus has been linked to oral cancers. So, you know, these are things that your lifestyle really can have a huge impact on your risk. How about symptoms? Well, now symptoms, when you're talking about cancer of the throat and upper esophagus, really the most common one here is trouble or difficulty swallowing. That's oftentimes what patients complain about first. You can have a lump in the neck that you can actually feel, even ear pain, and that's because sometimes this tumor can refer pain to the ear, or a persistent cough, even something like a persistent bad breath. Any of those things can be symptoms you want to see your doctor about. If, if you are diagnosed with throat cancer, what are some of the treatment options available? The same things that we hear about really for most types of cancer, Chris. So surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, and specifically when you're talking about radiation to the mouth, it can be difficult, usually very effective. About 50 to 80 percent of these types of cancers can be cured. However, radiation does damage cells. It can make swallowing very difficult. It yeah. can give you sores in your mouth. Uh, let's talk about uh, the patient's prognosis here. In, in this case, in particular, I mean, could he lose the ability to speak? That's always a risk. When you talk again about any type of cancer, the big things that we take into account with the prognosis of a patient, the stage of the cancer at the time of diagnosis, the location and size of the tumor, and probably most importantly, the age of the patient and their general state of good health and their attitude, very important. All right. He said he does feel optimistic. He just was quoted as saying that yesterday. Positive so we'll attitude is key. Wait and see. Doctor, thank you very much. You bet.